Hello, so I have this um, dump trailer, car, uh, dump wagon I got from a friend of mine, pretty cheap, like $20. It's an actual old style dump. It's a pretty big little wagon and um, I think it's built way better than new ones. And um, this uh, wheel was replaced at one other time and apparently the welds broke. Um, so a temporary fix was to put this uh, worm clamp on, you know, like a radiator hose clamp, um, to hold the wheel, as long as you don't put too much weight on it. But now my kids want to ride in this thing behind the uh, lawnmower. So I finally, after months, probably almost a year, I got two replacement wheels. Um, I don't know if they're the right one, so I'm going to see. Uh, this is a three-quarter inch. I just... Uh, grab my half inch. Uh, let me hold the wheel. All right. Uh, I think I got the wrong wheels, but we'll see. Now, normally there's not, um, now this is, now this is a hefty duty, um, for those mechanics out there. These are use, these are usually slotted screwdriver. These are stainless steel. Uh, the screw is not, which rusts usually. Um, but the hefty duty ones, which I prefer, have a 5 16 head, if anyone ever needs to do this, or I think it's equivalent to 8 millimeter or 7 millimeter. But the smaller ones are quarter inch head. If you can't get near the screwdriver, a little bit more. I absolutely love this dump trailer, and since I've been cutting wood and trying to haul it two, three at a time in my hand, now I'm going to use my lawnmower to pull this thing around with the chopped wood in there. I gotta chop all that wood. <laughs> Alright, let's see. All right. Now, here's the issue. I gotta get this off. Oh. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I may have gotten the wrong wheel. I'm not sure. I think this, this is actually part of the wheel that was replaced because this is the bearing. There's, you know, this bearing in here. Let's see how the new wheel fits. I think I got the wrong wheel. Or, I gonna, or I'm going to have to, in another video, I may have to take this apart, see if I can cut it. But I'll probably ruin the bearings unless there's three sets of bearings in here. It's hard to see from the inside. It's one, might be one bearing race. This might be a full set of bearings. All right, so here's the new one. This looks like just an end cap. Yeah, probably not gonna leave that on. <laughs> I think I got the wrong one. We'll see. Well, at least I'm putting it on with the valve stem out. Huh, well, it fits on, but there's a, a gap in there, which let's see how this one is. Oh, this one's got a gap too. All these tires are flat. Huh, let's see how it looks underneath. Oh, it looks like it might be riding close to this. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it's going to hit. Yeah, I don't. Hmm. Looks like it's got the race. I mean, you know what? I'm going to um, add some washers back here to keep it spaced. I have the right size washers. Um, but it looks like that's pretty much how you're going to change this tire. Yeah, this is obviously part of this. Alright, it goes in the other way. Not that that's part of the video. But, uh, just a washer. See, in this backside, there's a gap in there. 
and this hub um, is longer than on the replacement so I'm gonna to have to fill in that slop <clears throat> so well that's how you take a wheel off <laughs> one of these um, nice dump carts thanks for watching